I remember I was coloring on my stoop and my father came along. He looked down at me and he took away my coloring book and he said, Spring, make your own pictures. When I began as an artist, I was interested in the very ephemeral things in life, the things that were almost intangible. It was just attracted to them like a magnet. When my father died, my mother gave me my father's ashes. I wanted to memorialize him in some particular way, but I knew I'd have to do it through my work. The investigation of mortality it seems exquisitely special to me, that question of what happens on the other side. People from all walks of life have asked me to work with their loved ones. They allow me that permission. And what a great and remarkable privilege that is. I think of my posthumous subjects as collaborators. They're the last specks of what once was an individual who lived on the earth and flourished on some level. I certainly don't think of my work as macabre. I think about it more as a celebration of life. Airborne has six posthumous subjects in it. It's a film, and you see me allowing each individual person to emerge out of the box. We felt like we were in the state of grace, witnessing these different individuals really performing some exquisite movements just right in front of us. It was like unbelievable. When people see their own relatives in one of my works, it's as if they've been reincarnated for a moment in time. Even though they're just dissolved particles of dust, they feel this incredible identifying force in looking at the movement of someone that they knew. After using the ashes in my work, I put them back in the urn that I was given, and I returned them to their owner. In 2016, I'd completed Fine Line. It's a work that predominantly had six pictures in it of my late husband Arno's ashes, and it combines both chaos and measurement. I feel that it was perfectly matched to Arno's aesthetic and his concept of the world. I'm still working with Arno, and we are collaborating. I mean, how incredible is that? And how beautiful is that? And it gives me a lot of solace and joy. Perhaps I'd like people in the end to look back on me and say, well, she investigated the whole idea of mortality. I don't have all the answers. And whatever I'm searching for, it's, it's um, an elusive thing. <laughs>